Uh, hi, Mr. Sosa. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the paradox of the choice. Uh, the video talks about the paradox of the choice by saying that if we offer too many products, uh, it would cause an impact in the consumer, in the final consumer. Uh, basically, it's how consumers make the choice. Uh, the consumers will, will be able to make a choice when they uh, receive like an impulse, like an inter impulse, if uh, to satisfy its needs. So, we as humans don't have like the cap the capacity to analyze too many products uh, at the time because we we have to take a uh, time for analyze, uh, know the price, know what impact it has on us. So we have to be very uh, decided in, in which what product we will take. So according to Schwartz, offering more choices could create a psychological impact that that can turn the consumers uh, down. What I mean in down that they will be able to analyze it at a hundred percent because there are more choices uh, to offer. So if we if we keep uh, offering too many choices, many that means that the customer will take more time to analyze, uh, more effort, uh, so it would make it harder to choose. So they have to choose it fast. So there will be an error. They have a, like a range of error uh, in the product. So an example of this one is Schwartz that talks about uh, a gem study. Uh, and the conclusion was that it, it that the consumer were more likely to choose a gem uh, when they were offering six product than they were offering twenty four product. That, that that's because what I said before it would take more time to analyze and it would have to make an effort to do it. So, like uh, if we see it on the other side, uh, people think they're offering too much product will have uh, will be better for the customer because they have they will have too many choices to choose but they don't they it won't but the time that we have to choose will make it harder for for the consumer so a person basically chooses an option expecting that they will be satisfied so offering too much products can represent a risk to a company or to an individual he also talks about uh, the maximizer and the satisfizer. Maximizer are the people who only choose the best products of all products that they are offered. And it would also talks about the satisfier. That means that all, that the people only choose chooses because they just want to get out of the way, meaning that they will settle for anything. So statistically, people who are maximizer are unhappy because they think they think too much of a choice and they think too much of a choice expecting that that because one they think they are the best so at the time they they consume the product uh, and the result are negative it could cause a uh, psychological impact in it. that means that uh, it would be disappointed by the product by the other hand are satisfied people that are much simpler because they don't. Because before of that, they they ha, they think that the product won't be satisfied at all. That means that they ha, they think that uh, that the chance of rejecting the, the expectation um, is is sure. So basically, including my video, uh, charts uh, thinks about the other the the other way around. Uh, saying that uh, how the consumers will be how, how will how the consumers will react to this product so there are too many things we have to think about at the time we're choosing a product and basically that that's what it is and thank you